the wheels are uh, you know building a bike has uh, been a passion from ground up so i i created a, a pearl white uh, color and even i got the strips also painted the company comes with stickers so yahan pe dipak da hai dipak da kya khabar <laughs> oh my god नहीं ये बात तो सही है लेकिन दीपक दा क्या बना दिया आपने यार मतलब इमेजिन नहीं कर पा रहा हूँ मैंने सच में इससे बढ़िया बाइक मैंने आज तक नहीं देखा है खास करके काफी सारा चीजें जो है लगा हुआ है सो आई थिंक आई हैंड ओवर द माइक टू यू आई एम श्योर कि हमारे ऑडियंस बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्ट लेंगे इस पर सो दिस इज दी यस दी एडवेंचर मोटरसाइकिल जो अभी बिल्कुल भी मुझे स्टॉक कंडीशन पर नहीं दिख रहा है ये दीपक दा एडिशन हो गया अच्छा नॉर्मल इज बोरिंग सही बात है सो दीपक दा प्लीज थोड़ा बताइए कि इस पर क्या क्या काम हुआ एंड कब से आपने शुरू किया सो आई हैंड ओवर द माइक टू यू सो आप ही बता सकते हैं ठीक है आई वॉन्ट टू बिल्ड दिस बाइक ग्राउंड अप so obviously ground up means it starts from uh, the tires and wheels uh, thanks to dismotech nahi nahi ek minute usko dikha do ya baad mein that is a wo you know like wo polish laga ke usko chipa ke rakha hai okay okay so uh, the the wheels are uh, you know building a bike is uh, been a passion from ground up so uh, i i worked with the dismotech he showed me few options i opted for this uh, this is a monoblock mane इट इज वन सिंगल ब्लॉक ऑफ एल्यूमिनियम उसके अंदर वेल्डिंग वेल्डिंग कुछ नहीं है सो एंड देन यू नो लाइक इट इज सी एन सी कट टू द रिक्वायर्ड डायमेंशन स्टील स्पोक्स एंड कस्टम मेड हब्स बोथ फ्रंट एंड बैक द बैक इज रनिंग ऑन सेवेंटीन एंड द फ्रंट इज अगेन ऑन ट्वेंटी वन विच इज द नॉर्मल साइज ऑफ दिजिनल एस डी एज वेल देन आई आई मूव ऑन टू गेटिंग सम एडिशनल लाइट्स because i i thought that the lights of the sd were a little low but i was wrong aajkal most of the lights are quite low so so the reason is led lights because led white lights jo samne agar yellow lights aa rahe na the white light becomes blank so samne kuch nahi dikhai dega but unfortunately i think uh, some uh, government norms ke chakkar hai so i don't want to really get into that area then uh, a very interesting thing on my machine is uh, a chain oiler I have a manual chain oiler which has about 60 to 70 ml of uh, oil cylinder, oh, so and so as I move yeah, this, yeah. Haan, okay. yeah. So this is a cylinder. A coil ke. Is ke under uh, I use uh, something called Scott oiler, oh, which is a which is a proprietary oil uh, from Scott oiler UK, which has a unique uh, ability to clean as you lube. So you just need to manage how much time or how much oil is required for your chain. like take for example if you are on a flat out road on a highway for me like you know like two drops every 30 40 kilometers is more than enough so which means you know like a quarter uh, turn will give me about 300 kilometers of uh, uh, chain lubing okay samjho ki barish aa raha hai then i turn it to half a notch okay. and that will uh, you know increase the intensity of the drops okay. and thereby you know like it continuously keeps the chain lube समझो कि टोटल ट्रेल्स पे जा रहे हैं थोड़ा डस्ट है थोड़ा मक है थ्री फोर्थ्स ऑफ अ टर्न एंड यू नो लाइक द ऑयल यू नो द ड्रॉप्स आर मोर इंटेंस एंड इट कीप्स द चेन एब्सोल्युटली क्लीन सो व्हाट आई कैरी ऑन अ 2000 टू 3000 किलोमीटर लॉन्ग जर्नी आई कैरी अबाउट 50 एमएल ऑफ ऑयल 50 60 एमएल तो इसमें है एंड दैट इज ऑल द ऑयल दैट आई कैरी सो व्हिच इज अ इट्स अ नो ब्रेनर बट व्हेन इट कम्स टू अ मोटरसाइकिल ट्रैवलर लेस इज मोर सो यू नीड टू मोर बी इफेक्टिव एज एज वेल एज इंटेलिजेंट then uh uh bark busters to hai and then you know like i've used something called the domino handle grips these are from italy okay. and uh, this was gifted to me by a friend of mine after i saw him on his uh, suzuki v storm mm -hmm. juice from uh, bandi uh, bandipur okay. uh, he's a wildlife photographer and uh, curates a lot of tours uh, in the wildlife mm -hmm. and uh, he gifted me this and uh, i found this to be extremely Comfort. good and comfortable apparently the dakar guys also use something very similar mm -hmm. so whatever little vibrations are on the handlebar it doesn't get transmitted so it just erects here grip over the existing grip no 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 this the, the original grip needs to go uh -huh. and this sits in because the more wider you make uh -huh. the more pain that you yeah, start you developing yeah yeah mm -hmm. 
Then of course, you know, like I've uh, mounted a phone mount here, yeah. which is very neat. It, it really does not, uh, you know, hamper your vision in any way. And you're looking straight, you just need to glance down and you have the maps or whatever in front of you. Uh, I have also got the FuelX thanks to the Race Dynamics guys. Uh, I'm running on Map 3, which means, you know, uh, one notch above the uh, original uh, fuel. Uh, and and the, 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 the vibrations or for that matter, the torque between the third and fourth gear is absolutely smooth. Now, you can complement the engine. You can complement the work that uh, the company guys have done on the EFI. You can complement this one. So all together, net net, I've got a better bike. You know, for me, speed is not really important. I need a very smooth vibration free ride. And I think at 100, 110, I'm able to achieve that with a fair amount of luggage. I mean, under, under se aage so that is one. Then, uh, of course, I've repositioned uh, my indicators. I've chained the company indicators to, uh, you know, the, uh, these. So I repositioned it, you know, like this is something, you know, like this was a wasted space here. Okay. And to move this here, the Bahas, I moved this here. Okay. I mean, you know, like you may have heard me repeatedly tell you about Bali mm -hmm. in uh, Marenhali Main Road, Motocraft. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's a perfectionist and our friendship goes back about 30, 40 years. He's a, he's a drag he's race rider. Huh? You know, he understands my taste and he knows exactly what. I mean, I wouldn't let my motorcycle to be touched one by anybody because it is very sensitive for me. Yeah, and then, you know, thanks to Hyper Rider, these guys uh, were kind enough to create a custom uh, uh, crash guard for me. A very simple one when compared to what the company is giving. Okay. So, I had a little lean here so that, you know, like my knee doesn't uh, knock here. And it meets the need of a drop. I mean, kya chahiye? I mean, hard crash mein koi nahi aapko, koi nahi, koi, uh, koi nahi, kuch nahi hoga. Drop mein toh. Haan, drop mein it does the job and that's what I'm really, uh, you know, uh, it's important. Hmm. Then uh, I've straightened the side stand. If you see the company side stand, it has got a more lean. So when you saddle up and try to pick the bike upright, hmm. there is a little bit of a stress because of the weight. I mean, this tips at around 200 kilos. Hmm. So when you t want to bring it up a little, hmm. then, you know, like you feel it a little heavy. But with this, you know, like it is like feather light. Uh -huh. So uh, people may ask me about the weight of these wheels because it's a monoblock and people may have the apprehension that uh, uh, the wheels may be heavy. Uh -huh. I can definitely tell you the front wheel is about 30 to 40 percent lighter than the original lighter than these company steel wheels. And the back can be an apple to apple uh, only for the reason that uh, the rear hub is about three kilos, uh, which is somewhat a little heavy. It could be done better, but uh, this project has been on for the last nine months. You know, it's taken a complete human incubation time for me to bring this bike to this shape. So the, then I'm using the Hydenu tires. The Hydenus are one of the most heaviest tires in the world. So this is definitely not the kind of tire that I would want to mount on a 300cc machine. But this is one that was lying with me and I thought, you know, like, isko first khaa jate hain, baad mein dekhte hain. Yeah, then uh, I have a permanent toolkit here. The basic critical tools that I need to strip down this bike is in here. So, you know, I just need to open, it. open this and uh, it's there. Mm -hmm. And again, you know, like I've repositioned, uh, I've got a better uh, tail lamp, more brighter one. And uh, one. this is a different one. This is not from the company. Yeah. Then I have a Eclipse charger here which has got both a cigarette light charger and a USB 5 amps uh, fast charger. Hmm. But I keep it disconnected because people hmm. oh, are angry. Oh, he went here. Sir, what is this? Sir, we are angry. Sir, what is this? Sir, light switch. What is this? You know, let the car go. Yeah. Then I had this uh, pannier uh, saddle stay that was lying with me. So I just fixed this and you know, like I've got a box, two boxes. Is this uh, a plastic box? Or? ABS boxes, that's from GV. I had it from my Benelli uh, when I used to have them. Uh, little bada for this bike, mm. but uh, on the handling, it does the job. I mean, I didn't really feel the stress, mm. uh, except that, you know, like, uh, city city limits, when people are angry, they don't see so much. It's not such a big box, it's not such a big box, it's not such a big box. Now, uh, if I've covered most of this... Sir, the uh, engine part, the color, looks, uh, is it is this stock? No, man, you have to change it now. Now, you have to clean it up and polish it up and leave it up and leave it up. Of course, I have a performance filter 
and uh, this I have changed the end can. I didn't really want to uh, play around with the uh, the emission norms. Okay. So the dual cat, you know, from the uh, BS6 that stays there, uh -huh. and it's just the end can which uh, the engage guys got me from. Uh, I don't know. I think he got it from China or wherever. Mm -hmm. Very light. Mm -hmm. This is just one kilo. Stock would have been five and a half kilos. <laughs> yeah, so a bolt gear guy. Pata nahi, isko you know was not done right. So, abhi after all this setup, I've done about five thousand kilometers, and I am super happy. Now to the best part of this motorcycle, I want to show you my paint colors. So this is a paint theme which I was uh, working. Uh, this one is uh, you know the blue of the Nile. So if you look from this side. You will see the the river Nile with yes. the you know the desert in the background, right. and then uh, you have a blue here, mm -hmm. and you have a blue here, uh -huh. and a blue here right. there. They, they there. But you know color is subjective. Uh -huh. You know, your color or my color, alag alag ho sakta hai. So my theme is this. This is blue by the Nile, and and agar if you is taraf aoge, so this is sunset by the Sahara, and you are shooting this by the sunset time. Sunset time. You see how beautiful the sunset is, right? So this is an orange here, uh -huh. the orange in the front. A sunset by the Sahara uh -huh. and an orange here. Mm -hmm. You know, from all the travels that I've done around the world, uh -huh. somehow the continent of Africa has been very, close. very close to my heart for more reasons that I can think of. So I believe, uh, you know, you know, when I went to Egypt back in 1989 and 1994 on the ESD uh, during on my round the world trip, I had some beautiful memories of going down from. Uh, Cairo to Aswan, and then circling up on the uh, uh, the the River Nile. The scenic route is what they call from uh, Aswan to Alexandria, and then coming down to Cairo. So that is something that has been on my mind. And this time uh, on my Afro-European Odyssey, when I went down to Morocco, Mauritania, Senegal, and getting into the 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 the, the move from Senegal into Mauritania was a time when I really enjoyed the orange of the Sahara. Now that is something you know, like impregnated in my mind. So to bring out those colors has been a little difficult, but then, yeah. So I, I've reworked on the the seat as well, made it a little firmer, and changed the texture of the uh, again our great Rao seat fellow. You know, sit with him and you can do wonders. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. This has now become a limited edition. This is a limited edition. <laughs> Yeah, that's the key to happiness. Yeah. yeah. So that pretty much sums, uh, you know, what has been done, and uh, yeah. So big question, abhi kuch ban raha hai fir iske saath ride. See, there's 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 always something happening uh, in my life. Uh, it may not be a bike ride at all, for all that I can say. Mm -hmm. uh, but you never know. You know, <laughs> if it happens, it happens. If it happens, Bula, I'm gonna call you, and you'll be the first one to know. Yes. yes. I had that lying with me, so usko laga diya, and it is very, very effective. You know, uh, with the right kind of uh, angle uh, you uh, mount it, it it really has helped. You know, like as I said, you know, like I'm just back after uh, 2,000 kilometers in the uh, Coog, uh, Kushalnagar, uh, Nilgiris, uh, Pollachi, and uh, back to Bangalore, and I'm just back yesterday from almost a 2,500 kilometer to uh, Bombay, Bombay, Pune, and you know, like uh, I mean, that was more of a tarmac ride. So but this yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, up to thousand kilometers, you know, I prefer. Nee to you know, four hours airport ko jaane ke liye kya? Security clearance or takeoff ke liye aur three hours lagao, seven hours usko four hours aur lagao, I'll be in Bombay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this is done about six thousand kilometers. So six thousand kilometers, I've done three services. I mean, first I I I, I literally change the oil at four thousand kilometers. The first one was you know usually at one thousand kilometers. Then I change the second time within the first three thousand kilometers. I mean, these are these are small, small things as uh, that comes into the motorcycle maintenance. Mm -hmm. Like you know, company will give you a you know Bible about saying what to do and what not to do. But आप थोड़ा आगे सोचो and you know like what is the kind of uh, exposure that your bike has for city में ज़्यादा चलाते हैं city में ज़्यादा चलाते हैं and I was just back from these 2,000 kilometers of hitting the trails in Coog and you know that juice took us to places where mm -hmm. literally you know like uh, uh, if you go there on your own you're not allowed to go to such places. Mm -hmm. So he had permissions to ride into those places, and it was pretty talk, you know, uh, pretty intense on the machine. I know for a fact that I really pushed it. So when I came back, and then I got to know that I need to head to Bombay, 
you know I I kind of uh, uh, immediately went to the service center. I said you know like boss oil change कर दो यार oil change filter change it doesn't cost much you know couple of thousand but then it helps in the the long run of maintaining the machine you know you know everybody uh, cribs about machine and you know उसको ये सही नहीं है वो सही नहीं है ये नहीं है वो नहीं है फलाना ठिकाना but then you know like if you ask me जब किसी कंपनी एक प्रोडक्शन लाइन से गाड़ी निकालती है तो देर आर वेरियस डिपार्टमेंट दैट्स वर्किंग ऑन इट एंड चांसेस आर यू नो लाइक द पीपल वर्किंग इन दोज डिपार्टमेंट्स मे नॉट इवन हैव रिडन अ मोटरसाइकिल नंबर वन पॉसिबली टू दे मे नॉट हैव पुट सच एक्सट्रीम ट्रायल्स और टेस्ट ऑन द मशीन वेन द डिजाइन इज मेड सो ऑब्वियसली वेन अ प्रोडक्शन इज डन you know there is a cost factor that comes in there are so many things that comes in for uh, you know the the company to announce an ex showroom price bhaiya ex showroom price you know like is for the company to make sure that you know like the com- the bike is sold at a reasonable price they make a certain amount of profit the dealer gets a fair amount of margin and all those things but when you get the bike out between you and me we can do a lot of things you do things differently i do things differently now i got the white but this is not the company white the company white was very white I mean, for me, it was not a, a pleasing color at all. Right. So I, I I created a, a pearl white uh, color, and even I got these strips also painted. The company comes with stickers. Okay. I got this painted as well. Mm-hmm. So for me, you know, like I mean, change is something that you know, like you can decide what is it that you want to do. Right. Like those mirrors, you know, the uh, the handle guards, uh, knuckle guards, what comes with the uh, company, mm-hmm. they all are there. But it may be designed separately for people to. I mean, from a from many standpoints as i just told you right so it is up to you to make sure that you know like you build a bike that suits you and stop complaining you know it can be any bike for that matter so why do after part uh, market guys th- thrive because there is a certain amount of thought and engineering process that would go into it right like take for example my wheels no doubt they took about 9 months but end of the day when the wheels have come in these are one of its kind in the country as of now before you know other people who have placed the order start getting it and my wheels are now already 4000 kilometers old And in four thousand kilometers, I've you know like literally taken this across any places that I can normally think of, and it is sustained the the brutal battering. And I mean, I'm happy, so I don't mind so saying them. The tube. Uh, I wanted a tube because back in ninety four, mm-hmm. when uh, I was doing the circumnavigation of the world on the ESD Road King two fifty cc and two up. and uh, you know in those days uh, my friend who's also a mechanic by profession he had suggested you know like uh, to avoid uh, uh, the time taken to remove the wheel, uh, you know the wheel and the tube and then fix the puncture and put the tube back it will take about a couple of hours i mean even the tire wala sometimes struggle and you know like we to you know like i mean once in a blue moon or you know kabhi i mean i have not opened a wheel like that at all so he had put two tubes inside तो टू होल्स सो अगर एक पंचर हो गया तो दूसरे को एयर लगा दो भागो आई मीन दैट्स व्हाट दे डिड इन रैलीज एंड ऑल बट अनफॉर्चूनेटली आवर पंचर वाज ऑफ अ डिफरेंट काइंड आवर पंचर वाज अ स्पोक दैट वाज ईटिंग अवे इनटू द ट्यूब एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ द प्रेशर यू नो इट स्लाइस्ड बोथ द ट्यूब्स आवर बाइक वाज इन वन कॉर्नर आई एम इन वन कॉर्नर माय कैमरा बैग इज इन अनदर कॉर्नर एंड आई कैन सी वन रोड ट्रेन ऑन द ऑस्ट्रेलियन नलबार हाईवे जस्ट बूम and those guys don't really pay attention because on a huge highway with desert on both sides we are like chutkus by the time he realizes the damage is done so you know that was one thing that uh, uh, was that was one thing that really uh, shook me and i have a injury from that a shoulder injury which i carry still now that's something i'm living with but i was very sure before i start taking this bike to places where i really want this adventure to go i need a tubeless set of wheels Yeah, I'm still working. I I would ideally think of reducing the weight of the hub, and if I change the tire to something as competent as the uh, Hydenus, then probably you know like the weight is gonna come down by about say twenty percent. But the rear wheels are usually heavy because you know like so much of fittings there. You know that part of the vehicle is really heavy, and uh, the one good thing is these are mono blocks. You know, so इसमें कोई शक ही नहीं है कि you know कहीं से भी air leak होगा. There is absolutely zero possibility of air leaking from anywhere. तो दोस्तों आप जो है हम लोग सुनेंगे कि इसकी exhaust note कैसा है क्योंकि आपने देखा कि exhaust बहुत बढ़िया दिख रहा है तो exhaust note भी सुनते हैं तो दीपक दा exhaust note सिर्फ exhaust note सिर्फ नहीं performance भी अच्छा है performance भी अच्छा है सही है लीजिए माइक मुझे exhaust के पास ले लेंगे हाँ
one thing I really like about uh, any of the machine is, you know, uh, particularly for an adventurer in me, I like the sound to be as subtle as possible. Because when you are riding, you would want to hear the sounds of the environment than your own loud bike. So that way I believe uh, the, the sound from this exhaust is moderately on the lower end, which is kind of very pleasant to the ears. Yeah. That's about it. That's about it. I hope people like uh, what I've done and uh, try to pull out uh, some good things about uh, your uh, travel and uh, enjoy your time you on two wheels. <laughs>